Here's how to make seven clean text animations in DaVinci Resolve. These are sleek, easy to customize, and perfect for social media or really any kind of video project. If you want to save some time and skip all these steps, just download the text animation preset pack in the description. Let's jump in. Swipe down. Go up to Effects. Search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it. Go to the Fusion tab. Go up to the Inspector. Change the text font size and color. Go up to Transform. Keyframe the offset Y. Change the value to 0 0.05. Hover your playhead four frames to the right. Change the Y value to zero. It looks all right, but what we can do to improve it is go up to Spline, toggle on the template, and press the Show Full View button. Highlight your points, press S on your keypad. Now adjust your word size graphs to look something like this. Now when we play it, it'll look smoother. Finally, go up to Settings, toggle on Motion Blur, and adjust the shutter angle to your liking. Increase the quality all the way to 10, and there you go. Text Scramble. Go up to Effects, search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, go up to the Inspector and change the text font size and color. Right click in the panel, select Text Scramble, go up to Modifiers, hover your playhead to the start of your clip, keyframe the randomness and increase it to around 1.2. Now down here you can remove any of the characters you don't want to appear in the scramble. I'm going to delete all of the lowercase letters and numbers. Now hover your playhead to frame 24 and change the randomness back to zero. And there you go. Bottom Fade Reveal. Go up to Effects, search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, go up to the Inspector and change the text font size and color. Select your template node, press this button to add a rectangle mask. Make sure your playhead's at the start of your clip. Adjust the Y center value so your rectangle mask is right below your text. Change the soft edge to around 0 0.05. Now move the Y center further down until you can't see any of the text. Keyframe it, move your playhead to frame 24. Now increase the Y center value until it's just allowing all of the text to be seen. Increase the width of your mask if you need to. Now it looks like this, but we can improve it by going up to Spline, toggle on Rectangle 1, show full view, highlight your keyframes, and press S on your keypad. Adjust the graph to look something like this, and there you go. Flicker Text. Go up to Effects, search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, go up to the Inspector and change the text font size and color. Go to Shading, make sure your playhead's at the first frame, and add a keyframe here where it says Enabled. Now move your playhead two frames to the right and toggle off Enabled. Go two more frames to the right and toggle it on. Repeat this process for as long as you want the flicker. If you want a more rapid flicker, make the keyframes one frame apart instead of two. And there you go. Pop in. Go up to Effects, search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, go up to the Inspector, change the text font size and color. Go up to Transform, make sure your playhead's at the start of your clip, keyframe the offset Z and change the value to 0 0.2. Hover your playhead four frames forward and change the offset Z to zero. Now this doesn't really look like a pop in yet, so what we have to do is go up to Spline, toggle on Template, highlight your points, and press S on your keypad. Adjust this vertical view toggle to have some more height. Now pull your starting keyframe up like this and the ending keyframe down like this. So now your graph should look something like this, this S shape. Finally, go up to Settings, toggle on Motion Blur, increase the shutter angle and you're good to go. Line Spin Horizontal. Go up to Effects, search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, go up to the Inspector, change the text font size and color. Now go to Transform, Change the transform to lines. Go down to rotation. Make sure your playhead's at the start of your clip and keyframe the Y rotation. Now hover your playhead to frame 24. Change the Y rotation to 360. Now it looks like this, but we can further improve it. Go up to spline, toggle on template, select your points, and press S on your keypad. Now pull your ending point to look something like this. And then I like pulling the starting point somewhere around here. Go up to settings, toggle on motion blur, and increase the quality all the way. And then increase the shutter angle to around 250. And there you go. Word by word grow. Go up to Effects, search for Text Plus and add it into your timeline. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, go up to the Inspector, change the text font size and color to your liking. Right click in the panel, select Follower, go up to Modifiers, Transform, change the Transform type to Words. Make sure your playhead is at the start of your video, change the X and Y sizes to 0. Keyframe them, hover your playhead to frame 10, change the X and Y sizes to 1. Go up to Timing, Change the order to left to right. Increase the delay to two. Now you'll have something like this. It looks all right, but what we can do to improve it is go up to Spline, toggle on Template, press the Show Full View button, highlight your points, press S on your keypad. Now adjust your word size graphs to look something like this. And now when we play it, it looks a lot smoother. 